What is going on guys, Grunge Lab Gaming back here and in today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about the best loadouts for the Winter Express in Apex Legends. I'm also going to be covering some legends that are good for the job. Yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to talk about the top loadouts guys, they're about like top three loadouts pretty much guys that people have been using, you know, hence three squads guys. The first one I'm going to talk about and I've seen like everybody uses every day is the R99 and the G7 Scout. Now guys, this comes, of course, all loadouts, they come with like different mags, different things. Guys, a lot of times teammates will actually like swap, like if another gun comes with a better scope, they'll come into the game, give it to the like the carrier of the game, you know, and like, that one person is always good and needs it. And then of course when they die, they'll change legends, or they'll just die anyway at the end of the round. You know, they'll just literally just throw themselves in front of the train and get crunched. And then when they come back with everybody else, they'll bring the new loadout with all the new weapons on it and they'll start distributing it. This is actually a really good tactic for especially the big league YouTubers. I've seen them do it all the time. Where they like trade different scopes on the guns or attachments that people don't need and things like that. You guys, why this loadout is so good? I'm just getting to the part of that. Because the R99 is fast firing. This is a huge loadout for tons of streamers. Plenty of people love the G7 and plenty of people love this. Guys, this is actually a really OP one that they put in. But they also put two more OP ones I'm going to mention in a second. Anyway, guys, this is actually really good. You can either start by, you know, sniping people from far away. That's always easier going up close to people, kind of like a shotgun mode. And then be putting a few shots on them and then going in, for like, the, uh, you know, when they turn flesh. And then just getting them with the 99. It's a really good tactic and it really does work in any game mode ranked you know regular or this new game mode so yeah guys moving on to the next ones so the next one is the flatline guys there's two there's the flatline with the p2020 with hammer points and then there's a the flatline with the eva 8 with double tap guys honestly i like the flatline with the p2020 honestly guys because at this point the flatline doesn't need anvil rounds because it's already so good at this game mode and you're, it's not like there's gonna be like a huge squad it's kind of be chaos in there and then guys the, the p2020 now guys i know this gun is like sucky i'm just gonna call it the sucky pistol because that's the only way i remember it guys it's only good if it has hammer points and in this case yes it does and it's a really good like sidearm just like clean up the job so i actually really like it in this situation but only in this situation i've never used it in ranked or anything like that but for this, I would just use it. Now, guys, shotguns are a little interesting in this game mode. They don't have the Peacekeeper, so I wouldn't really go with the EVA since Double Tap is a little weird, but most people actually just take the Double Tap off and then give it to the people with the G7, like I was saying earlier. So that kind of just makes sense. Anyway, guys, that's the next one. Because for the fun one I'm going to mention is the Havoc. Guys, the Havoc is paired with the with the wingman and then the devotion is also on that list it's also paired with another weapon because i've seen many people use the devotions or what they'll do is they'll get the havoc because the havoc you know you can use like the little tap fire to already get your havoc warmed up so basically in sense you don't need the turbocharger and then they'll give the turbocharger to the people with the devotion guys basically making these two loadouts basically great together honestly guys i prefer the havoc with the turbocharger that's just me with the wingman because i honestly think it shreds because if you don't have the teammate to give you the turbocharger for the devotion the devotion does take a while to heat up but once it's heated up it destroys in this game mode so i put both those two in the same boat but also you guys the havoc is just well rounded on what you're getting with that you know the whole package two loadouts now guys i'm gonna move on to legends real quick because honestly some people just go with their mains in this and that's totally fine some people are like whatever i'll use whatever gun and i get no that's not the case but guys uh for this loadout in my personal opinion i actually think wraith is the best now guys usually I'll do what most people do and just move with the loadouts. But I actually really like playing with Wraith in this game mode. The face is really, really great because you know the caustic gas, Bengal gas is just everywhere. And if you're phasing, no one can really follow your phase. There's really nothing to see at if you're in all this calamity. So it kind of makes sense why you know you would choose Wraith. Guys, the portal isn't that useful. You can use it like for like booby traps, like I was saying the other day. Just like you know, hang it and then let it fly off the train. And then once they approach, you set it and they'll get like trapped in the portal. Things like that. Because Wraith isn't just that's just kind of like her phase, and that's about it. Because moving on. Because for the other two legends, I'm gonna talk about. I want to talk about Caustic. And I'm gonna talk about Gibraltar, guys. The two thick boys. Um, are kind of like my main top. Now guys, I know this isn't for everybody. Everybody has like their different things. And Caustic is kind of like Bangalore in the situation. Just making chaos like always. Anyway, what I want to say is Caustic, he can, you know, just get traps down. And then when you set them, people can't really block in train cars. Of course guys, the middle ground. You know how that always is. But guys, the Caustic traps are really good because they keep dealing damage. And they'll make people flee off the train. 
long enough for you to capture or whatever you're trying to do. And then also I will say, like adding on to that, is you can also like barricade it places too, so they can't get on through like little doors in the side, stuff like that, so you can have all the doors guarded. Now guys, the last person I'm talking about is Gibby, okay? Gibby has actually been pretty good. Now guys, I know notice a lot of people are sniping with him. I mean, it's kind of just that thing. Guys, I know his gun shield is really good in this mode, so you don't have to heal that lot. Even though you guys have infinite heals, he's pretty useful with his domes and stuff like that, and just being a tank, you know, pretty much, and pushing people off the train. Yeah, he's a pretty aggressive character in this game mode, since he can have the shield and crouch. So guys, I'm definitely not ruling him out as the best, but I am ruling out as a pretty good person, and a door blocker as well. So he's actually really good in this mode, and it's actually kind of funny um, how many times I've been killed by Gibbies. Um, guys, even though they have their damage buffs and stuff like that, guys, the Gibby strikes are so worthless, unless, like, it kind of depends. Because Gibby strikes aren't so useless, it's more about the domes and the gun shield in this game mode, and they just make the whole mode a lot better, and you take less damage, of course. So, guys, anyway, thank you guys so much for enjoying this video and watching it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, guys, another video might be coming out in a couple of days, guys. Definitely trying to make the quality better on these videos. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope I did better with the quality just a little bit. I'm trying to get there. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much if you guys are subscribed. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. We've had a new few subs lately, so guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys are watching this video. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you. If you guys are new, don't forget to stay tuned for more Apex Legends videos and guides like this. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.